Hey guys, this is a video on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch second generation using the uh, GUI released by Cywood. Uh, and first off, big ups to Cywood of iPod Touch forums, iPod Touch fans forums, uh, for doing this. Uh, and if you want to look at his uh, own tutorial on iPod Touch forums, I'll post the link for that in the description over this way. Um, and this is basically what people have been following for a couple days or weeks now uh... and this is my own rendition of it so first off you want to download the uh... folder or the file that will be in the description as well as the firmware for it it's going to be Cywood uh, version 17 now, this jailbroken IPSW file, uh, you're going to have to make, I have my own made already, uh, you're going to have to make that one. Uh, I'll show you how. Uh, first off, you just want to click on this link, or this icon here, to execute the program. Now, if you do not have libusb installed, click here and install it. Uh, and if you don't have uh, C++ 2008 installed, install this. Uh, and if you're on Windows Vista or Windows 7, you have to run it in compatibility with Windows XP. Uh, so after you've done that, go on and click Next Step. And you'll come to a window or a uh, page like this, where here it will give you uh, files that are in your uh, directory they have to be in the Cywood folder uh... you're gonna click on the firmware one not the jailbroken one because you won't have that you're gonna need to have the 2.1.1 file um, and that'll be provided in the description as well and then uh... after that you click on start hashing IPSW and what that will do is make the jailbroken file for you to use later on after that is done and I've got to say that is an arduous task it takes a couple minutes to do uh, around five or ten minutes so after that's done you click on next step and here you're going to click on well first off you need to put your iPod touch into DFU mode and uh, it tells you how to do that there just hold the sleep and uh, home button I'm sorry the uh, yeah the sleep and home button for 10 seconds then after that you will hear a chime from Windows and you have to release the home or the sleep button and continue holding the home button for eight more seconds uh, once that is done you'll hear another chime and at which point you just release the home button and your iPod touch will be in DFU mode then you click on upload DFU file and it will be a quick command prompt that comes up uh, you'll need to press that once afterwards you disconnect your iPod touch for about two seconds uh, reconnect it and you should get a white screen then you will upload the patch this is where the actual jailbreak occurs in the next step you have to go to the press me and uh, once that uh, once that's done, you will uh, just right click and paste, and let that finish up. It'll take a couple seconds. Uh, and after you're done with that, you're gonna want to open iTunes and shift click restore to the uh, jailbroken IPSW file in your Cywood folder. And I recommend you keep all these all this fol this folder in the desktop. So uh, this is after that's done it, and the restoring does take a couple minutes. You're ready to continue with the last step.